Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at um, making a composite playback device, which is Sibelius 7 and Contact. Now you can combine Sibelius 7 and Note Performer. You could do no Sibelius 7 sounds, just Contact or Contact and UVI Falcon, whatever you want. So here's a cheesy little piece I've written just to demo this. If we look at the mixer, we can see it's all Sibelius uh, seven player sounds. I've just got a trumpet, drum kit, clean electric guitar, electric bass, acoustic piano, electric piano. All right, so we're gonna go to the play tab, play tab, setup. Now, as you can see on the left here, available devices are grayed out because this is one of the default sound sets and you cannot change it. So what we're going to do is create a new sound set based on that. And I'm just going to call it Sibelius 7 and Contact. Click OK. Now we're going to look at the, the available device list is, is now available. <laughs> and uh, we'll go to the VST for Contact. You could use the AU for Contact. Either one's fine. Activate. All right, so I'm gonna click on contact and do show. Now you need to load up sounds in contact in the usual way, just the same way you would do in your DAW, you know, just from the list here, or if you have quick load set up, you can do it from there, or I have made an instrument bank just to save us time here, so. All right, in this bank, it's MIDI channels one through five. Number one is an on demand no uh, instrument, and if, Anybody ever wants to do an ASMAC on Ondemont? No, I'm fascinated by this instrument. I would love to see that. Number two is from the Bernard Herman Library from Spitfire, Trumpet and Xylo. I've got the standard uh, electric piano instrument from Contact. I've got the uh, India Series sitar, and I've got an acoustic bass pits from Alternative Solo Strings by Spitfire. All right, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way for now. Okay, um, now we're gonna to go to manual sound sets. And under this, select the device, select contact. Sound set, general MIDI, click use manual sound set. Now I'm gonna set the channels to five because that's all the channels I have to work with. That's all I need in this particular instrument, but you could use up to 16. Now I am on program one, channel one. If you hit test, you can hear the undemont no there. Um, now, program name, when you click this, this happens and you go, I can't select a program name. It's a Sibelius mystery, but if you go up to sound set, select anything else, then go back to general MIDI, now it's active. Don't know what to tell you. Okay, so we'll go to, I'm going to call that harpsichord because there's no on de mat no. Um, and you need to hit apply. Okay, number two is a trumpet and xylo. I'm just gonna call that muted trumpet. It's muted trumpet and xylo, apply. Always remember to hit the apply button because if you don't apply, it won't apply. Electric piano, we're just gonna call that electric piano two, uh, electric piano one rather, apply. Three, ah, uh, the sitar, which is down towards the bottom of the list here, apply. Number five is our acoustic bass. And that is right here. Apply. Now, notice under configuration, you have this little asterisk next to contact because you haven't saved it yet. Hit save. There you go, close. Now we're gonna look at the mixer. We open the mixer up. And now, now it's all set to Sibelius player, but notice if I hit that, I now can select contact. So for trumpet, I'm gonna select contact. I'm gonna leave the drum set in Sibelius player. For electric guitar, that's gonna become my sitar. For uh, electric bass, I'm gonna make that that acoustic bass. And uh, the keyboard one piano is gonna be the, um, the Ondemont No harpsichord. And this second electric piano will be an electric piano. So now, that they're set to contact, if you go down to the instrument list, there you go, there's your instruments. 
So I can tell it trumpet slot two, MIDI channel two. If I go to the electric guitar, I can select sitar slot four, MIDI channel four. Electric bass is going to become the acoustic bass slot five, MIDI channel five. Um, that first keyboard is going to become the harpsichord and there's left and right hand, so I do both of those. And now the electric piano for the electric piano. Now if you hit these, that's your drum set. So I click to check these, and even if I click playback, they all play drums. Another Sibelius mystery, but if you go to the play tab, change the configuration to Sibelius 7 sounds or anything else, and then change it back to your new set. Now when I hit this, they're all correct. I don't know why. Something needed to reset and that did it. So if you make your new sound set and at first it doesn't work, don't panic. Change the configuration to anything else, change it back to your sound set, and now when we hit play, And so for instance, just to show you, if we want to change that sitar to the uh, harpsichord sound, all right, close that. And we know that if we just select the stave and hit play, I get just that stave. See, you've got all your instruments right there. So that's how you set up multiple um, sound sources uh, for a configuration in Sibelius.